Hello everyone on this channel, my name is Kairos and today we have The Crucible Season 2 3. So, Petrik user is always the one who's streaming this, but she's not available uh, today, so I'll be taking over her. This one. So, we have the merge, uh, first match already starting soon, two minutes remaining, according to refs, Nerd Hunter, and the boot. Blue Spy. Uh, we have on the red side the semicolon team, and on the uh, blue side we have team two, which is team. As you can see, we have the third uh, team, Air 404 name found, which will be on the second match of this tournament. 30 seconds remaining. Oh, 10 seconds remaining. That was a quick 20 seconds. So we'll be starting very shortly. And there we go. So the first match is going to be on Canyon Ambush. Lots of hard covers and soft covers as well, lots of clouds. And it's a labyrinth. So people can get... Uh, Top right corner or left corner. Starting in seven seconds. Up, oh, never mind. So we are in game. Ship number one, Black Sail Brid Brides, piloted by Fearless Indian Shrike with Hwacha, Double Gatling, and another Hwacha. Ship number two, DFS Heartbreaker, piloted by Dragon Unity. Stormbreaker with uh, Watcha, Gatling, Flak, and another Flak. Alright, on the blue side we have ship number three, Prankster Gangster, piloted by Justin o On Day Case, I guess. But <laughs> it's a Pyramidian uh, with a Gatling Flak, Carronade, oh, double Carronade, pretty. Usual loadout and ship number four, use tools big one. Uh, judgment piloted by Super Hobo. H Hades, not Hades. Watches Gatling and a Flak. You already have the engagement here. It seems they are focusing on the judgment here. Uh, watch uh, the Pyramidians losing its things in the tar cloud. Ooh, armor is broken of DFS on useless as well. Who's going to have the first kill? Big one has all their parts damaged, except for one en engine and hull in the balloon. Frank's gangster going with the Gatling on the Black Sail Brides. Trying to get the, f the flak in, but Heartbreaker disabled them with the Hwacha. Gatling going after the DFS. Ooh, Hwacha as well. Not that much effective. We have a Tar Cloud on the big one, but he dodged it. He's pretty close to it, actually. Black, black, ah, black Sail Brides losing armor. Flags going in, nice damage. Another Oh that was a that actually. Do we have heavy flag on the Yeah we don't so 
First, one, first kill is going to the blue team, which is uh, that semicolon for some reason. Team blue is on the blue side, which is the team two. Uh, my program just f said screw that. I'm not changing it. I'll be fixing that later. Apologies for the inconvenience. I'm cutting out a little. Is it like only audio or the video as well? So we have two kills on the blue side, which is team two. Don't forget, this is 60 seconds delay on the stream, so I'm not, uh, not going to answer your questions very quick like, so keep that in mind. Uh, okay, so the red team has spawned already, trying to come up with a bigger plan, better plan. Just the volumes a bit. They should be better. It was only voice. You're doing it less frequently now. Like cutting out or? Well, in the meantime, let's see, uh, so the blue team has the Judgment, which is very heavily damaged, so red team should focus on that one if they want to kill them fast and then go on for the Prankster Gangster. I think big one is uh, also the more dangerous ship because it has double watches for the Disables and then Gatling Flag for the damage. That a Gatling flag, right? Yeah, it has a Gatling flag. I hope everything's fine for now. Except for the team names. Yeah, that... It sucks, but I'll fix it uh, in between matches. We already have the engagement here. Uh, Heartbreakers going for the prankster gangster, disabling all of the guns almost. Well, the front guns at, at least. Oh, he is not going to end well. He needs to go behind hard cover. Indeed, that was a quick call and a tar cloud for the win. Now he's blocked off, but uh, Black Sail. Brides are two against one, but he's going after hard cover as well. So what will it be here? Heartbreaker and Big One engaging each other. Black Sail Brides just in tar with from the heartbreaker. Ooh, I think that was a miss. miss press of a key. He wanted to have a kerosene for jump start and then accidentally released the tar on their allies. Oh, this is not looking well for the brides. Armor's gone and losing hull as well. A tons of hull left. I mean, left the ship. <laughs> Oh, this is not looking great for the Sail Brides. They might go down here very soon from the double Gatling and the flak. They're going after hard cover. They are partially disabled. Meanwhile, Heartbreaker's taking the lead of the bait. He's going for the tar, I believe. Yep, there it is. 
but too soon. Oh well, double tar. Yeah, that that works. For the silence. Black, sli uh, black sail brides. I some hard times. Name is still alive. Heartbreaker is down as well, but uh, down to a little hell. The red team is not looking so hot right now. Iron storm. Red team is doing the right thing and trying to go for the hard cover, rethink their strategy because they're not looking so hot. Uh, Usul's big one, Usul's big one. Yes, the judgment, as they say. Still up, up and kicking, but it, red team should really focus on the uh, yeah, big one because. Well, the Pyramidian is still on full health. If they take out Big One quickly, they can take out the Prankster Gangster as well with no... Like, well... With... More... Uh, more probability of not failing. Because... Well, they need three kills, so these two and plus one. By the way, apologies for my bad English. It's not my first language. Okay, blue team going in, which is team two, just for the reference. Oh, red has been spotted. This is not looking great. Let's see how this one goes. Heartbreaker was spotted. Gone. There's some soft cover now. Currently spotted as well. Oh, there he goes. There it goes, the Gatling and the Watch as well. But no serious damage on the Heartbreaker. Yet. I'm going to go there first. I mean... How you see? Still trying to like get the heartbreakers uh, position by shooting Gatling at it, but okay, this might be extra games for going high up to see everyone. Okay, there it is, going for the heartbreaker with the Gatling. Blocking paths. They're still behind hard cover, they're trying to get jump on them, but blue team is prepared indeed. minutes left red team still not engaging neither the blue team I mean blue team has nothing to lose if they lose this uh, engagement they still have the first 
uh, first blood vintage. So, I mean, well, they don't know about their position now because soft cover and all. Oh, there it is. See them? They're going for it. Heartbreaker, will it survive or will it die as the last kill? And there it is, almost. Boom. Not last kill, but first. Yeah. For some reason, I thought it was the finals. My final kill. Black Sail, Br Black. Black Sail Brides. Dead. That was quick. So, 0 4 in favor of Team 2, which is Team Blue. Six and a half minutes left. Red team is spawning. Blue team is rushing to their position. Bounce. Heartbreakers alone. They're looking great for the DFS. He's trying to tar them, bait them around, but... Ooh, that's only a part of it. Part of the tar. There it is. Paramidian's getting it full. But that's a... Uh, there's a third tar. Okay, blue team is suffering now. Yep, losing parts, so... Good job, Heartbreaker. But it was a risky call, I think. Two against one is never the best idea. Sable's going around. Watch is firing. Is he going for the useless big one? That's fired. Broken hull. They need to flag. Whoa! What happened? Did the flag hit? Well, anyway, uh, so team two wins this round, and the next one will be uh, Air 404 versus that semicolon team. We'll be back shortly.
we're back. So, now we have the... Error 404, name not found, versus that semicolon team. Uh, Corsair, Magne versus Shrike and Corsair. Let's see if they decided about the um, map. Still didn't decide about the map yet.
so pilots has decided it's uh, it's going to be on the water hazard. So now we're going off with the four time a uh, four minute lobby timer. Three minutes remaining. One minute remaining. Never mind, 30 seconds remaining. All ship loadouts are now locked. That was a quick 30 seconds. Ten seconds remaining. And time. Let's do this. No water hazard. Like Canyon Ambush, uh, there's mountains for hard cover and clouds for the soft cover, but not as intense as in Canyon Ambush, so lots of open space for long range engagements. So, on the red team side, which is Era 404, we have Flame Bucket piloted by uh, Polar Bean. Uh, Huacha, double Huacha, uh, 
that's a harpoon. Oh, nice. Harpoon. There's a mine launcher and a Gatling gun with the Minotaur. Trip number two is Papa's Proper Popper. Piloted by Flypaste. Uh, Stormbreaker with Hades Lumberjack. That's a, that's a Banshee and uh, Tempest. So pretty long range stuff right there. So ship number three, Judgment on the blue side, which is that semicolon team. Uh, piloted by Fearless Indian, Double Huacha, uh, Artemis and the Flak. So they exchanged Gatling for the Artemis. And the last ship, Drunk Penguin, piloted by Dragon Unity. It's a Junker with uh, one side Gatling flat, the other side as well, and with the Artemis at front. So let's see, we already have some marks here. Red team still not spotted because of the soft cover. Oh, shots fired. We have Tempest going in. That, that was a lumberjack. Laser show going on. So Papa's po proper popper is baiting, I guess, but the flame bucket is already spotted and closing in. Judgment oblivious to it, but dark peng drunk penguin by paying attention to flame bucket, but flame bucket is going for the judgment. Tempest still shot shooting at judgment, disabling all their th stuff. Bloons has gone on the judgment. Quickly repaired, but oh yeah, red team is focusing test. Okay, that was Nerd Hector, our organizer of t uh, the Crucible and the Ref as well. The Master Ref, I should say. Drunk Penguin is going baiting, but... Well, he saved Judgment from 2v1, but... Problem is... Well, good, good news is neither team suffered damage to their hull, but Papa's proper popper is now mar unmarked so they don't know where their position is and the flame bucket is baiting them going on the offensive probably for the judgment yes proper popper is going for the judgment as well bringing down balloon trying to get armor of course Temp is going in lots of disables Two guns down, three guns down, lots of fire stacks. Taking out the balloon again. Ooh, watch a barrage on the judgment. Disabling guns, balloon, engines. It's not looking great for the judgment, it's two we want here. Ooh, flame buckets out of the armor. Ooh, nice flags from the from the drunk penguin. But Flame Bucket's still engaging the Judgment. They need that kill. They're desperate. One, two... Oh, there it is! Judgment is down. So, Air 404 has the kill advantage now. Drunk Penguin is going in. 2v1 here. They're trying to get the Flame Bucket since it's damaged. But, oh, oh they might make it. Flame bucket damaged. They're trying to get their hull back up. Got their hull back, but Drunk Penguin is suffering now. Massive damage. Their hull and armor. Yep, they might go down here soon. They're trying to tar them, but to no avail, they'll be dead. And there it is. Your boat now. Fifteen and a half minutes left. The judgment is there. Which is a bad call on the judgment because 2v1 again. They need to wait for their ally to spawn in. They need to survive. Balloon's gone. No major damage so far.
Drunk Penguin is back, they need to get to their post quickly. They're still going for the Judgment, good call. Blown is dead on the Judgments again. Flame Bucket still oblivious to the Drunk Penguin's uh, Gatling and Flak. But don't get too overconfident on that, because if, if if you die here, Popper's proper, Popper's popper might have a hard time dealing with it. Dealing, dealing with the consequences. Flame Bucket still being engaged by Judgment and Drunk Penguin. Tar going out. But no one's in it, though. They're on the edge of the map. <laughs> Judgment is breaking. They might go down here very soon. And there it is. Third kill on the red side. Flame bucket caught in the tar cloud from the drunk penguin. Oh, that was a nice minotaur right there. Drunk penguin should run away, but they're the junker. They're the slowest, I believe, from all the ships. Or is that a judge that judgment? I'm not sure. But for now it's the very slow ship, so I think running is not an option. They just need to survive. The onslaught of watches. Everything's broken, except for one engine and one gun. They're trying to tr tar the flame bucket, but not effective. At least, not visually effective. Yeah, they are going down. They might hit their own tar. No, there's another town from uh, Penguin. Judgment is back. Trying to rescue their friend. Actually, Drunk Penguin did a great job surviving this onslaught of two ships. Junkers are very good tanks, so they can do it. So now it's 2v2 again. They probably go for the Judgment again because uh, it's more paper ship. Staples on the Junker. Oh. oh, they actually split up. Blue team's trying to get the uh, flame bucket to die. He's ramming them. By the way, uh, never ram a ship. Oh, there it is. Junkers down. Never ram a ship without hull. That, that's a no, no, no. That's a big no, no. Judgment suffering damage. Flame bucket ramming with moonshine. Judgment's hurting. Oh, this is not looking great for the blue team. One more kill and they're dead. It's over. And there it is. 11 minutes 45 seconds left on the clock. And the red team, which is Air 404, name not found, has win this round. 5-0. So ace. So we'll be going back to the intermission, so... I'll be back very shortly.
and I'm back. So now we have round three, team two against error 404, name that found. So there's no map yet, so they're still deciding, and of course getting their team ready. We have a map now, it's going to be Misty Mutiny. And timer has started, we have thir uh, four minutes. Three minutes remaining.
two minutes remaining. What minute remain? And we are in lockdown now. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. And we're off. So, Mr. Mutiny. Uh, fun fact, it's from PvE side of the uh, game. As you can see the base there, the yellow thing. One of the new maps, I should say. Like, not the recent, but it's new. They run to spawn in. Begin. Trip number f one on the red team, which is team two. Hustle's big one. Judgment with double huacha. Uh, that's a Gatling and a flag. Ship number two, prankster gangster, piloted by Justin Oda. Oh, forgot. This is piloted by uh, Super Hobo. This one is piloted by Justin Onde on Case, I guess. Uh, Pyramidian with AI crew. Gatling, flag, and a double carronade. Blue side, which is Air 404, Flame Bucket piloted by uh, Polar Bean, which is Double Huacha, Harpoon, Gatling, and a Minotaur, and a Mine Launcher on the back. And ship number four, Papa's Proper Popper, piloted by Flypaste. Stormbreaker with uh, Hades, Lumberjack, uh, Banshee and Tempest. That's a pretty long range hold loadout right there. Let's see. We already have marks. It's long range for now, so Tempest is going in. No big damage yet. Pointing fingers like ha ha. I can shoot you down. There it is. First disable of the round. Right there, ducking down. Safety of their own spawn. And they're behind hard cover, so no marks. Let's see how this one goes. 
Who's going to in who's going in there first? Let's wait on them to give something. No one's going in yet. Seventeen minutes twenty five seconds on the clock. Big one is picking out. And the proper popper is now being marked and damaged as well as a lot of them being marked that is. Flame bucket still in the shadow never mind. <laughs> He's not in the shadows anymore. Big one is going in. Gatling's firing on the flame bucket. Now both teams are going to f uh, focus on one ship. Red team is focusing. Oh well, never mind. They're going for the proper popper. One of them at least, and the big one is going for the flame bucket. Ooh, watch a barrage on the hull. Plus the uh, plus there's the harpoon, trying to ram them. Nice one. Meanwhile, prankster gangster losing balloon to the popper, proper popper. But proper popper's changing target to a big one. Judgment. Watch a barrage on the flaming buck, flying bucket. They bought some time. Tempest still shooting on the big one. Oh, armor breaks on the flame bucket. Now they need some damage. Oh, nice dodge from the watch a barrage. Suffered minimal damage. Okay. Big one's going for the flame bucket still. Flame bucket's going to ram. They're bringing their. Oh, they're bringing their weakness. Yep, big ones on the left side of the judgment, there's no guns. So that's their weak spot. Oh, nice Minotaur right there. Watch is going in soon. Yep, there it is. Watch out on the big one. Suffering disables. Mean in the meantime, prankster gangs are having a hard time with the proper popper. Oh, losing armor, losing hull. They're crashing down. They need to get it back up. There it is. Let's switch back. Big one still uh, with the flame bucket. Oh, flame bucket is winning the engagement, but they still survive somehow. Popper, popper, and the prankster gangster. Oh, he's not looking too well. Armor's down. They need some damage. No damage, okay. Are they going to buy a boat? Oh, he's not looking for the gangster. He might go down here, but oh! Oh! Proper Popper got uh, killed by the big one's watch a barrage. Good save right there. So flame, flame Bucket needs to go back. It's 2v1 now. They need to survive until their friend spawns and helps them out with the prankster gangster. Or you can go for the big one first because it's the closest ship and then go for the prankster gangster for the easy kill. But they need to survive first. Oh, proper popper is back. And with the tempest on the Yossel's big one. You should focus on the prankster gangster, he's more damaging I should say. Watch a barrage, everything's broken, every gun. Flame Bucket has some hard time, but trying to get disables on the prankster gangster. 
But they didn't disable their flak. Armor's broken. Trying to dodge. Russell's big one's going for the proper proper. Oh, this is not looking great. Proper popper is now 2v1 here. Ooh, ramming the crane. Oh, this is not looking great for the blue team. Yep. Flame Bucket's still trying to survive, backing up, losing armor pretty fast, and Balloon as well. Proper Popper is back in. They need to support their ally as soon as possible. They need to get out uh, and kill the prankster gangsters. Oh, this is not looking great. Flame Bucket's going to ram without armor. Well, that was close, actually. Oh, he might. He will not survive this one. Damage, and there it is. Flame Bucket is gone. So now. Papa's proper popper is two we want here. He needs to run. Not into the crane, mind you. Up oh, there it is, bouncing. Ramming into the hustle's big one. Stopping their escape. Oh, this is amazing! Red team is barely surviving their hulls. They keep killing them, so one more kill on the red team side. They win. From the red team side, I should say. Papa's proper popper and Flame Bucket is back in. We'll see how this one goes. Fully locked and loaded team with only one ship, only no ship to spare actually, against damaged team with four ships to spare. They're playing long range for now. minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. No major damage. Papa's proper power is going for the big one as well. Flame buckets going in, rising up. They need to kill that one, that big one. Armor was g got gone for a moment, so they suffered some minor damages. Watch a barrage on the hull, nicely done. Now the red team needs to dispose of the flame bucket as soon as possible. Armor's down on the flame bucket. Some Flags here. Br Watch a barrage. Nicely done. Flame Bucket is suffering. This might be the win. And there it is. 5-0 on the red team side, which is team 2. Congratulations. So this was round 3. From, uh... Of the Crucible Season 2, Week 3. And I'll be back shortly.
And we're back. So now we are going to have match number four. Team two against that semicolon team. And it seems the, that semicolon team is missing all of their players. Except for the Dragon Unity.
I uh, have some news here. Apparently, uh, captain has been swapped. Uh, Synthorian is now the captain, one of the captains of the semicolon team, and Dragon Unity is now crew. Alright, so the teams now are deciding on the map. It seems it's going to be Periton. Well, the red team are. The red team is vo voting on Parrots and Rumble. Blue team is silent for now. Oh, one of the blue team captains vote for Dunes. Is voting for Dunes. Tarian is the last one who's going to give a call. Oh. Now we have two Periton and two Dunes, so it's going to be a coin flip. And... Ref says... Well, depends on who's going to have the head and the tail.
And there it is, Battle on the Dunes. We have four minutes now. Three minutes remaining. Two minutes remaining. What minute remaining? Thirty seconds remaining, our all ship loadouts are now locked. And here we go. up a bit. Hold on. Eh. Okay, there it is. So, Battle on the Dunes. Not much for the hardcover. Only except for the Levi Leviathan and the ribs on the right. And other than that, the dust cloud in the middle. And lots of open space. And let's
Let us go. So, the red team, which is team two, also is big one, piloted by Super Hobo, Double Hoacha, uh, Carinade, ah, uh, not Carinade, the Gatling and the Flak, also a Harpoon on the back. Ship number two, Prankster Gangster, piloted by Justin Onde Case, with AI, Pyramidian with Gatling, Flak, and Double Carinade. On the blue side, that's a Mikulon team, Fiona, piloted by Synthorian, Shrike with Carinade, Huacha, Gatling, and the Banshee. Ship number four, Black Sail Brides, also a Shrike piloted by Fearless Indian, Double Huacha, and Devil Gatling. So, blue team needs to rely on the close to mid-range combat while the red team has well one of them well both of them are pretty close range but the watches with heavy clip can be for long range as you can see Let's they do something about it Fiona and Black Sail Brides are going in, going for the Ossel's big one. Watch barrages on the Ossel's big one, disabling their guns. Prankster Gangster going for the B Sail Brides. Oh, they are being harassed by the blue team. Interesting tactic, but Fiona is getting the most damage from the blue team. Hall is broken from the Watch Barrage and the Gatling gun. Now all it needs some damage. Never mind. There it is. Black Sail Brides sh should do something about it because Fiona is going down here. And there it is. First kill is going for the team two. Black Sail Brides is 2v1 here. They need to get out. Just run, man. Just run. Tactical bounce. No major damage. Everything should be good. Fiona spawned back in. Watch a barrage. Everything missed. We're going for the dust cloud. As you can see, losing all parts except for balloon and the hull. In the meantime, Fiona is spotted. It's alone, so it's going to be 2v1 here. Black Sail Brides should help Fiona because they're going down fast. Oh my, that was a quick kill on the red team. For the red team. Black Sail Brides is going in, but uh, that's going to end badly for them. 3-0 in the favor of Red Team. One more engagement. As our referee in training said, pretty one-sided this one. Uh, yes. For now, yes. But most of the most, I mean, every isn't it every single one of the uh one of the matches were one-sided? Like everything ended up with 5-0 for one team. Let me check. Yeah, actually it's true. Now Fiona and Bl Black Sail Brides are going at it again. Fiona losing armor, losing hull, losing life. One more. So Red Team should get this quick kill. Nicely done. Watch the barrages, disabling engines. 
so the target is slower, flax and there it is, red team wins congratulations mate so now we are going for the intermission this was indeed a very quick match so I'll be back in shortly. And I'm back. So now we have th that semicolon team against Error 404. Name not found. And it seems the challenge isn't being updated like the way it should. I don't Well, as you see, the na all the names of the teams. It should have been updated live as well. For some reason it isn't. Now pilots are deciding on the map. Blue team voted fjords.
Red team still deciding on the map. Red team still deciding on the map. One of them said Perth and Rumble. And another one Perth and so Perth and Rumble versus Northern Fjords. So coin flip is going up. We have a question. What is the Crucible? Some sort of tournament? Yes. So... The Crucible is the tournament, sort of like, uh, let's say, easier competitive scene. Uh, you can sign up, uh, you need to sign up if you want to participate. Uh, you can go either in-game for the sign up or go for, uh, or contact a Nerd Hector uh, or any organizer from the team on the, the Discord, our official uh, Goyo Discord, Goya Discord, and you can sign up as an individual or a team, or like a group. And you'll be, uh, so you'll be, uh, met, sh should be matched with other players like balanced teams more or less so the lobby timer has started we have four minutes we are going to play on Parrot and Rumble Three minutes remaining. Oh, there you go with the post. Two minutes remaining.
Less than one minute remain. We have pause. sure about the reason why Nane, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, now Nerd Hector is the one of the organizers of the Crucible. Also, now he's the master referee. Uh, my name is Kairos. I'm one of the official streamers of Guns of Icarus. Thirty seconds remaining, or a pause, that is. Dragon Unity is piloting again, so he swapped with Synthorian. Pause has been disabled, and now we have thirty seconds remaining. So all ship loadouts are now. And here we go. So, uh, ship number one, which is on that semicolon team, the FS Heartbreaker, piloted by Dragon Unity. It's a Stormbreaker with Hwacha, Gatling, another Gatling, and a min Oh, that's a mortar. Number two, Heaven's Devils, piloted by Fearless Indian. Pyramidian with Gatling, Flag, uh, Artemis, and the Flare Gun. Ship number three, which is on error 404, name not found, team. Flame Bucket, piloted by Polar Bean. Corsair with, oh, that's a double harpoon. Damn. And a triple, uh, Hwacha Brush with, Hwacha Brush, Hwachas with a mine launcher on the back. Ship number four, Loch Ness Monster, piloted by Fly Paste. It's a magnate with a minotaur, watches, that's a harpoon, tempest, flag, and a mark. have marks here. Heaven's devils are being spotted, so no flag flying from them. Both of them are turning around. Heartbreaker was spotted as well. Otnain, if you join the Discord by with the link provided in the chat, you can find all the important things there.
Okay, lock this monster being disabled by the watches off. Heaven's Devil's being uh, disabled by the Loch Ness Monster. And there was the Harpoon, which missed. Flame Bucket. Harpoon. Magnate again, no Harpoon. Red side. No damage yet. There it is. Ooh, that was a lot of shots going in, but Heaven's Devils dodged that in time. That was a tempest. The Loch Ness monster getting all of the shots from the red team. Still no major damage from both teams. 16 minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Changing position. Magnet is baiting while the flame buck is going in. Harpoon. Missed. Heartbreaker. Still. Engines back to the flame bucket. Still don't want to bow at him. Hopefully, go for the Loch Ness monster. Flame bucket has the opportunity. But they're not taking it. No major damage. Watch a brush from the flame bucket to the heartbreaker. 15 minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Still no major damage. Fuck this monster under attack. Yeah, 15 minutes remaining. Monster baiting. Both of them are focusing on it. Flame Bucket has the opportunity to go for the Heartbreaker, but the Loch Ness Monster needs to be prepared to rush in as well. Heaven's Devils might spot the Flame Bucket. Heartbreakers dodging the Huacha. Now Flame Buck is receiving Watcha. So here, Magna is uh, fighting against Heaven's Devils. Which, uh, we have lots of damage, so Blue Team decided to go on the offensive. Heartbreak is losing armor. That's some damage done to their hull. Whoa! What happened? had to be a collision between ship and the building so they were sandwiched. Heaven's devils are at their mercy. Two zero in favor of blue team which is error 404.
13 minutes on the clock. Red team is hiding, blue team spot them. Is that a self harpoon? Like f friendly fire harpoon? Back at square one. Evans Devils receive some. Whoop. Evans Devils received some Hoja Barrage. No major damage yet. 12 minutes on the clock. Heartbreaker is going for the Loch Ness Monster. Up oh, there it is. Blue team's going on the offensive again. Watch a barrage on the Hevel Heaven's Devils. Disabling. Oh, double watch on the Loch Ness Monster. Loch Ness Monster is receiving hull damage. Trying to dodge the mortar. Nice work. Managed to get their armor back up, but losing armor again. Blue team doesn't know what to do now. Falcon's monster receiving damage. Heartbreakers being volleyed by the Hoacha. No, no disables. Falcon's monster is being disabled and almost getting killed, but they it won't take long for the Falcon's monster to be dead. Loch Ness Monster is rushing in, bumping into the Heaven's Devils. Seems Loch Ness Monster is trying to get on their weak, weak side of the Pyramidian, but... Flame Bucket... Oh, there it is, Magnate is dead. Flame Bucket now needs to run. It's outnumbered, and there's the tar. There was the ha harpoon. Watch a brush, another harpoon. Outnumbered two to one. Loch Ness monster spawned. Oh, this is not looking great for the flame bucket. Arm is down. Trying to dodge a watch a barrage. Nicely done. 9 minutes 45 seconds on the clock. Heartbreaker has been disabled, but Flame Bucket is hurting. He's going down here very soon. And there it is. Nice ram kill. So look, this monster needs to wait this out. They need to go back and just wait. Right. Enemy. Receiving minimal damage. Flame Bucket is back. Long range engagement, still no major damage. Eight minutes on the clock. That was a weird harpoon. Barrage 
slash mist. Our breakers losing our. Lockness monster baiting. Heartbreaker has spotted them. Look, this monster's going back in. And they're going for the Heartbreaker. Flame Bucket is at a disadvantage here. Heartbreaker. There it is. Ram. Oh, environment kill, I should say. Heaven's Devils are outnumbered to to one. Ram from the Loch Ness monster missed. Losing armor, losing hull, bumps, watches, and they're dead. Blue team now needs one more kill in order to win this round. Going on the offensive. They spotted them from the distance. There it is. One more kill, so they are going to focus on the Heartbreaker now. That was quick. I guess the environment killed them again. Congratulations, Blue Team. Error 404, name not found. And we're going for the error mission again. The last match of today's Crucible. I'll be back in shortly.
back so we have the final round of today's crucible three we have error 404 name not found against team two pilots Decided it's going to be on the fjords, northern fjords, fjords, as urban legend goes. This community. We have four minutes now. Three minutes remaining. Minutes remaining. One minute remaining. And 30 seconds. All ship loadouts are now locked. So final round, Northern Fjords. Bit open space.
art car from from below. Except for one giant mountain in the middle. How this one goes. So, red team ship, which is error 404, name not found. Polar beam piloting the flame bucket. A Corsair with double Huacha. Yep, Minotaur already shooting, Harpoon, Gatling, and a flare gun on the back. Ship number two, Loch Ness Monster, Magnet piloted by uh, Fly Paste. Uh, harpoon, Tempest, Mine Launcher, Huacha, Flak, and a Minotaur. Ship number three, team from team two. Super Hobo piloting the Judgment. That's a big one. Uh, Gatling flag and double Huacha, and on the back it's a harpoon. And ship number four, Prankster Gangster, piloted by Justin on the like, on the case. Uh, Gatling flag and double carronade. Let's do this. We already have the engagement. No major damage. Just some scra scratches. Watch a barrage, Tempest going in. Some disables, some ha fire stacks. No major yet. Muscle's big one receiving major damage. All. Now there's Harpoon. Looking great for the big one. I go down here very soon. Tempest disabling it. Oh, Loch Ness Monster losing armor and hull. Received half of their damage. Half of their hull does damage. 17 minutes 40. Seconds on the clock. Prankster Gangster going for the lock. This monster. Flame Bucket receiving. Watch a barrage for the disables. Lock this monster going for the Prankster Gangster. Disabling them successfully. Oh, that was a mine. Prankster Gangster without armor. Both of the blue teams going for the lock. This monster. Flame Bucket strike to support their ally. Oh, whoa, nice ram right there. Prankster Gangster is dead. So first kill goes to the red team. Russell's big one is now outnumbered. He might take Loch Ness Monster with it, but... Small... Chance. Russell's big one is losing armor really fast. Fire stacks everywhere. Prankster Gangster spawned in, but too far. Red team has still time. Prankster Gangster realizing their ally is dead, so they are waiting. Good decision. Part. So blue team has uh, stopped and waiting for their ally to spawn.
blue team is spawned. Now red team against blue team. Red team is damaged. Cover, no one sees each other. Long range engagements, still no major damage. Hustle's big one receiving most of it. Oh, disables on Hustle's big one, losing armor. Watch a barrage for the damage. Nicely done. They get it back up. Bucket being engaged by prankster gangster and also big one losing armor pretty fast. Both of red teams de uh, ships are damaged. Going for the prankster gangster disabling everything. Lock this monster is going for the close and personal approach and they're dead. Flame bucket alone against two of them. Is that looking well for the flame bucket? Armor's down. Managed to get it back up. Dodging the Gatling and the flak. Flame bucket losing armor. 13 minutes on the clock. And they're dead. The Loch Ness Monster needs to hide now. They're alone against two ships. Both minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Still no spotted. I'm back at his back. Hustle's big one being the main target of the red team. There it is. Harpoon going in. Got him. Watch a barrage on Hustle's big one. Some of it went into armor, some of it went into hull. Lockness monster being heavily damaged here. Both of the blue team ships are going for it. He might not survive this. Yep, there it is. All armor's down. Gatling fire. And they're dead. Oh. Flying back at alone against two. Blue team is winning this one. Armor's down. Watch a barrage. Flak. They will not survive this so for long. Yep. 2-4 in favor of, uh, of the blue team, which is team 2. Fire. 10 minutes 45 seconds on the clock. And there's the red team. Luckness monster and flame bucket spawned in. They have one shot at this. If they lose one ship, it's over. If they win this engagement, they need one more kill.
damage, nothing major. Harpoon going in. Hustle's big one losing armor. Is offensive. Above the arcs of the guns. Monster gangs are for the, going for the Loch Ness monster. Hustle's big one. itself so he can go for the Loch Ness Monster as well. It seems the Loch Ness Monster is the primary target of the blue team. Not looking well for the Loch Ness Monster however. It already damaged. Both of the blue teams are going for it. Yet. That was a harpoon. Chrysler gangster going for the flame bucket. Watch a barrage on Elsa's big one, disabling some of their guns. Aeronade. Oh, that was a ram on the. Elsa's big one, they might go down here very soon. They managed to get the armor back up by one more ram like that, and it's over for them. Eight minutes, twenty-five seconds on the clock. Ooh, getting mixed in between. This is not looking good for the big one. Watch a barrage, and they're dead. So now only the prankster gangster remains. He should decide to run. He won't make it without uh, his ally. Two against one is never the best idea. Oh, they're... it seems they're pulling it off, however. Bl flame Bucket losing almost half of their hull. Flag damage. Okay. Block this monster blocking their path. Not looking good for the Brankster Gangsters. Prankster gangster. Fine, and they're dead. Four, four. Final engagement will be present soon. Seven minutes on the clock. Sudden death. Who's going to win? Flame bucket is damaged, so there will be the primary target of the blue team. Blue team with very fresh ships. So, blue teams are having an advantage here. However, if their time runs out, red team will win. Soft cover. Still no spots. Room. Spots. Both of the teams are playing on the defensive. Oh, this this might take a while. Five minutes twenty two seconds on the clock.
Harpoon went out. Red team is spotted, blue team is not yet. That's possible. That can't be right. If the Crucible doesn't have the first kill advantage, then yes, it's tied, of course. Flame bucket. Oh, losing armor really fast. They need to dodge everything now. Also's big one receiving disables from the Hwacha Barrage of the Lockless Monster. Flame Bucket still not good at it. Trying to dodge everything. Just survive, man. You can do it. Meanwhile, Lockless Monster trying to disable the big one. Oh, this is not looking great for the red team. Oh. Dodging. Oh, this is this is very close. This is very very close. They need to disable the prankster gangster and get 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 to focus on the big one. Big one's losing armor. Oh, this is close. This is very close. Flame bucket losing armor. Oh, dodging. Oh, they're they're. Oh, that's a. That's a very close match. They are surviving by a thread. One screw. One screw, not damaged. Shiny new, holding the ship together. Flame bucket going for it. Watch a barrage. They try. They managed to disable it. Lock this monster's going down. Oh, this is not looking great for the red team at all. Oh, right, locked this monster is going down. Trying to dodge the watch a barrage, but also this big one predicted that, and there it is. Blue team wins, which is team two. So congratulations. Uh, if I'm right, team two won the entire crucible. The second place, error 404, name I found, and then the semicolon team. Alright, so thanks everyone for joining. If you want to see uh, more streams or events, uh, the next stream should be either f uh, tomorrow, or th yes, yes, is tomorrow, uh, so check out that. Then, uh, of course, Monday Monker Madness is there, and on Tuesday we'll be streaming uh, dev games on this channel. So, be sure to check out that as well, and if you want to participate in the Crucible, uh, sign up, either individual or crew, or team. And yeah, I guess that's it. So, have a good one guys, see you next time.